All right, y'all already know who this is. This is your boy, I Stay 100. I usually don't do this, but I'm going to do a tutorial video on how to make the best oatmeal you ever had. Now, as, as it goes, me and my boys, we was out eating. And while we were eating, we were talking about food. And somehow or another, we got to oatmeal. And they was like, yo, you need to do a video on your oatmeal. Since you say you found a hack and you found the best way to make oatmeal. So I said, bet, I'ma do that. Now I know I haven't done a video in a while and I get to that in another video, but besides all that, let's get to what we talking about today. Does bomb, punch your mama in the mouth oatmeal. All right, let's get it. This is everything you're gonna need right here. Well, not really everything. You're gonna need some butter and some carnation milk and some peaches and all that other good stuff, but I'll get to that later. So we're gonna start off with some water, of course. Then, gotta put it on medium. Medium, high, medium, whatever. You, you figure it out, whatever you like. Add a little salt, bam, two, three, Little, little dabbles in there and you're good to go. Bring it to a boil. Then you're gonna add your oatmeal, okay? Now, I made the mistake of turning this up on high because I was a bit of a rush. So I did it on high, but I suggest do it on medium, whatever, get the water boil and then you add your stuff. See right here, I had to lift this up because it was about to overflow. I cut that because y'all don't need to see that. Oh, y'all saw a little bit of it, but it's whatever. Okay. Anyway, I got a hack or whatever. So I bought the old fashioned oats and then I used a food processor or a blender and I chopped them up a little bit, made it a little bit more fun. I still left some decent sized chunks in there, made more and it made my oatmeal creamier. You know, gave me, gave me more bang for my buck. All right, so I'm not measuring nothing. I'm 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 a something like a chef, but not for real. I do I do what I do. It's it's really about feel when you cook. All right, so I'm throwing this butter in here. We gonna say, fill. Just go for the feel. You know who you cooking for. So how much, however much butter or however less butter you want, that's how much butter you add. All right. After you add the butter, you add your vanilla. See, I cut a little slit in the top. The whole thing about your stuff is you want control. So I cut a little slit in the top, give me two little squirts, back, back, and I'm good to go. Now I come to sugar. Now this, this is the only thing that's straight up measured because, I mean, the spoon comes measured. So it's two tablespoons of sugar and then two tablespoons of brown sugar. You feel me? You add that in there. You add your carnation milk. But... Because I did a little something, I, I got a little fancy for y'all, so this is what I did. I took some peaches, some condensed sweetened milk, and some carnation milk, and I mixed that together, so that's what I'm gonna add to this. But usually you can just add the carnation milk, put the top back on, let it sit for like 10, 11 minutes, and your oatmeal good, good to go. Now, truthfully, Depending on how thick you like your stuff, this is good to go right now. In all actual factual, you can stop. You can eat this, but we not done yet. We go to extra mile. We want to slap your mama in the mouth good. So we're going to put the peaches in. You want to do it nice and slow. You feel me? Get all the goodness and the essence of the goodness infused in the oatmeal. All right, so you're going to turn the um, pot down on low, and we're going to go ahead and put the top on, and we're going to let that, that cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then we're going to come back to it, and we're going to throw down. I mean, this is a simple recipe for real, for real. All right, now, see, you see that? That's That's nice and thick. Thick, thick. That's country thick. That's That's that... 
That's that's what they talking about when they say it's gonna put some meat on your bones. That's gonna put some meat on your bones. Yes, sir. That's good home cooking. That's so thick. I got a call from Maxim Magazine trying to trying to put it on the cover, but I said no. Can't do it. All right, so with that being said, this video done. I might have all the um all the ingredients and all that stuff in the description. I don't know yet. I'll figure it out. But anyway, that's all for today. The best oatmeal you ever gonna have. So taste it, try it, let me know what you think. Alright, be easy. I'm out.